Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Park Turkiya Media Center. Today we have very very distinguished guest Dr. Mohammad Faizul Yahya from Technology Mara University. And he is basically associate professor there in textile engineering department and also working there as a as a director in University Transformation Division. So welcome to sir. Welcome to you. Welcome, welcome. Uh, thank you for inviting me for the today's session. I'm much honor uh, to be here, and uh, actually this is part of our two week visiting professor program in AD University from 8th to 22nd of December. Yeah. So. Yes, yes. So first, sir, tell us something about yeah. yourself, and then we'll start a, a formal uh, interview. Then. It's a bit about myself. Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, currently I'm I'm uh, work as a lecturer, uh, more I would say academic in University of Technology Mara, and uh, in the Faculty of Applied Science, uh, Department of Textile Engineering, as mentioned by Professor uh, Bilal just now. I'm also at the moment uh, in charge in University Transformation uh, Office that basically oversee the university uh, strategic planning. Uh, execution or strategy programs, as well as uh, in income generation or new projects for the university. Basically, we are we are a, a unit that uh, plans ahead uh, for the university. Uh, I'm I uh, I'm basically uh, really glad to be in uh, NED University for the last uh, two weeks. I think these uh, give a lot of. Uh, uh, opportunity for me to interact with many different faculties, not only from uh, textile engineering True. department, but some other research center, and uh, I also uh, interacted with uh, a few engineering faculty as well. Yes. Uh, because I uh, I became one of the keynote speaker uh, in I think the last two days, three days conference in materials engineering. So uh, all in all, I would say yes. Alhamdulillah, it is a, a wonderful experience. Even though this is my fourth time. Every time I come here, I think uh, I I have every special new experience. Okay. Yes. So 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 you uh, tell tell us something about your family as well. In the meantime, yes. we have uh, a very distinguished guest with us. We learn a lot from him, and also uh, he helped us a lot in our different fields and in also especially in textile engineering department. Uh -huh. Sir, any other thing uh, which you like here in during your visit? Here, uh, first of all, uh, I like the weather. Okay, you like the weather. The weather okay. is uh, so much different from Malaysia. In Malaysia, we have like uh, the, uh, the average temperature, I would say, uh, daytime 33 to 35 degrees. And that uh, is for the same weather throughout the year. So here, uh, it is really a, a quick change, I would say, uh, to about 10 to 20 degrees, which is... Uh, I think it is, uh, it be, you know, giving some uh, refreshing uh, experience to have a winter in Pakistan for this particular time. And then uh, the second thing that I love is, of course, uh, about the people, mm. but about how uh, easy and how uh, the warm of Pakistani people. You know, uh, I think uh, people around the world, maybe they they read about Pakistani from different page, I would say. They, uh, they're learning from uh, different or uh, wrong source, you know. you They have not chance to interact or communicate or talk uh, with Pakistani, Pakistani people and know them very well. I'm, I'm Alhamdulillah, I, I, uh, I know Prof. Bila for a very long time. We were like friends since, since 2008. Eight. So you just imagine how long uh, it is uh, more than 20 years. So I think we, I know Pakistan and Pakistani from him, basically. So I'm come to know, uh, yes, uh, Pakistani are very wonderful people. You have a lot of uh, things to offer to the world, Alhamdulillah. In fact, uh, I learned there is a lot of uh, creativity uh, from simple things. There are so many ways to do it. So we are Mal in Malaysia, we usually, you know, uh, we are accustomed to follow a lot of standard operation procedure, you know. 
you want to do this, you have to follow step by step. But here you have, mm-hmm. you know, many ways you can do to achieve the same objective. So I, I, I would say, that, yeah, it creates uh, diff- creativity thinking on that and I would love to share all of this to my students when I get back as well. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. that's good. So uh, during your, this whole trip, uh, how many departments you have visited here in, in NAD? I think I have uh, at least uh, visited uh, three departments. Uh, engineering, department, textile engineering, mech- uh, it, it was uh, materials engineering uh, and then uh, Mechanical engineering. Have, have you visited some data centers? Uh, some NAD oh, yes. centers? NAD have 25 centers. Yes. More than 25 centers. Have you visited any of them? I visited the Big Data Cloud Computing Center uh, and I witnessed the research that you are doing in uh, Big Data Cloud FTC, Computing. See, I think. Yes. And the Metaverse is also very exciting. Yeah, I think the Metaverse project uh, is something that should be done quickly because everyone in the world can use this and you know optimize the teaching and uh, learn, teaching and learning yeah it is in, in in a more effective and interesting way mm. and at the same time definitely it will uh, save a lot of operation costs and uh, of course uh, i i would like to see for example how metaverse can be used in uh, textile education for example, if you if you can uh, you know uh, be in a textile factory, and you can have the the vision with you, and you can basically see how the weaving machine, how the spinning, or even textile processes around mm-hmm. the world, and this really uh, probably will enhance student learning so much. Uh, we in 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 Malaysia, for example, we have. Uh, very less textile operation. We have more clothing manufacturing, but uh, quite a less number of uh, textile factories. So uh, when we teach students, uh, we have some issues in you know uh, explaining to them what is, uh, for example, spinning, blow room, cutting, drawing, you know, ring spinning, and then what is how we being function and everything. Yes, we can we can use YouTube, you know, some other medium or some videos recorded to tell the students, but that could be one dimensional approach. Okay. If you have this metaverse, things will be uh, very useful because now we can actually interact, move around, you know, uh, to have that uh, real experience. Yes, yes. true. Yes. Uh, what about the Erasmus Lab? Have you visited okay. Erasmus? Okay. Erasmus lab. We, we were in, in that yeah. Erasmus project three yeah. years ago. So have you visited that lab? We have uh, that lab with NAD. Uh, yes, we visited the Erasmus lab actually. Yes, uh, we went there, uh, I think yesterday or two days ago. Okay. Uh, uh, we have a lot of uh, project being done right now in composites and smart textile, Alhamdulillah. And I'm happy to be part of the project too. Uh, I think uh, there are so many uh, new techniques that uh, NAD are doing, is doing right now. Uh, in terms of uh, improving the the mechanical properties, you know, and uh, and the the usability of the composite itself, and I'll see, I see there's a lot of currently there's a lot of work uh, being done in uh, retrofitting approach, yes. or using the new. I mean, it's not new, but it is uh, seldom uh, used. Uh, for example, uh, in area of lino weaving, for example. Now you are using that lino, uh, lino weaving as part of a composite, which I believe it, it will definitely give a lot of uh, improvement yes. in the mechanical properties. And now uh, you are using uh, braided yarn as well. Yes. So that definitely uh, will tremendously improve. Uh, if you have it in the unidirectional fabric, then you can basically optimize the property in either X or Y you know, directions. Yeah, I think, uh, and I see uh, there are a lot, a lot of uh, Creativity in producing handlooms, you know, looms and handlooms, and I uh, I can see one of the looms are actually being semi-automated. Hmm. Uh, you have a lot of uh, control system now nowadays to con- to control the shading process, for example, so that the the lifting can be done more automatic, hmm. and you can uh, improve the tension and make them being more uh, efficient. Hmm. I did mention to one of the uh, even to Sharus if. Uh, we can, you know, purchase that machine as well. 
So that would be very interesting for further collaborative yes, uh, work yes. we can have in the future. So any, any, any proposal writing you have done during this last uh, 14 years? Proposal writing, we yes, we have, we have some. Okay, good. Yeah, uh, I think we have listed three projects okay. uh, for us to work on. Uh, but eventually we have to pick one okay. and I think those are related to uh, the uh, capacity building uh, of uh, textile students uh, in the area of smart smart and technical composite area. So okay. yeah, inshallah we are uh, improving the proposal on that session and we can we should ha have it done as soon as possible inshallah. Yes. Yes, and, yes. And anything you want to say to H Higher Education Commission and NAD? Yes, that's right. Uh, thank you. Uh, I would like to say my full uh, gratitude uh, to uh, Pakistani Higher Education Commission for the trust you have uh, and uh, for, the, for the fund that you have given uh, uh, NED uh, to uh, let me come here. I think uh, we have a lot of good collaboration between uh, University of Technology Mara mm. and NED, uh, University, of Inge In University of Engineering and Technology, uh, not only in the field of textile engineering, Okay, but also uh, I'm uh, also working on uh, improving or and assisting NED strategic planning process as well. So yes, uh, I think uh, I can help. I mean, the, the, this this visit is very useful because uh, I can not only involve in the academic matters but also involve in how uh, I can be part of uh, you know uh, making NED more. Uh, in, in a better uh, global ranking, inshallah, in, 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 in a few years. And I see uh, right now, uh, NED is doing a lot of uh, initiatives in terms of strategies, key initiatives, even the strategic action plan to move the university into a more globally recognized university, inshallah. And things are, I think, according to the statistics that you are, uh, uh, you are, I mean, I, I'm reading the statistics and even the current performance you are achieving. I strongly believe, inshallah, uh, NED can be uh, in the world top, yeah, top five. Uh, I'm sorry, top uh, 500, 600 in the world, inshallah, in the next inshallah. five years, inshallah. This is a good uh, strategy, and I think the the pathways are already there. And inshallah, if uh, everyone uh, concern and if everyone feels that yes we are not only going towards the world ranking but actually we are improving ourselves mm -hmm. if we can do this uh, you know everyone feels that we are improving ourselves we are improving the quality of the education we are in improving the quality of the research that we are doing then inshallah the ranking will just come in the in norm, in natural way you know it's not like we are going for ranking, we are actually improving ourselves and eventually things will come uh, in in that manner, inshallah. Yes. Inshallah, yeah. inshallah. Thank you so much. Uh, we close this podcast uh, on, on a good note and inshallah uh, with some few uh, Urdu words from uh, Dr. <laughs> oh, no. Faizul. Uh, you no. learned some Urdu words, oh, so no. you can tell, share with us. <laughs> I... I think I remember a few, but now okay, because wait, wait. of the lighting and everything. <laughs> okay, uh, and the, that's so. that. What was that? Kaise uh, <laughs> hai? Yeah, kaise up? Kaise hai? Kaise up? Alhamdulillah, oh, I can ask back up kaise hai? Yeah. Aap kaise hai? Yeah, yeah, that's good. So <laughs> we all are Alhamdulillah well, and Dr. Faisal is also Alhamdulillah very well, and Inshallah he will will ask him to come more to to visit us more. In, in future as well. Okay, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Allah Hafiz.